Supporting people with developmental disabilities. That is what the ARC of Virginia wants to do every single day. And this year, they're hosting their state conference right here at the Main in Norfolk. And here to talk about the services that they offer is Christine Kaalin, governor-appointed committee member representing Hampton Roads, and Kim Goodlow, president of the ARC of Virginia. Thank you both for being here today. Thanks oh, for thank inviting us. Appreciate it. So tell us first what people can receive at the conference. What, what's going to be present? Uh, the conference will have numerous workshops, legislators, um, uh, trainings, and things like that for families. It's an opportunity to bring families together yeah. to learn how to maneuver um, the developmental disability system in Virginia. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a meet and greet for military families. Right. We'll have a meet and greet for families um, who have children in school that want inclusive education. Okay. Um, it's just an opportunity to get everything under one roof. Mm -hmm. um, and here it's so hard to do once you yeah. get this type of diagnosis. You have to call everywhere and right. visit different offices. And mm -hmm. right. if you can share a little bit about your experience, Christine, as far as who in your family was diagnosed and what that journey was like. Well, um, for our particular journey, um, there was just so many moving pieces for my son. Mm -hmm. um, when you have a metabolical disorder mm -hmm. diagnosed with other other disorders also tacking on, sure. it's you're searching for that support. Mm -hmm. And to have that support, not just for the families and the caregivers, but the patients as well. Sure. And what I like about the ARC is that they bring people together. Now, one of the things, of course, that we're watching on a daily basis is what's going to happen with the repeal of Obamacare? What is the mm -hmm. new bill going to look like? Is this a positive or a negative thing for ARC of Virginia, the, the proposed bill? The House bill that they're debating now is... Um, the ARC of Virginia and the ARC of U.S. do not support this bill. It will decimate Medicaid. Mm -hmm. We feel like that it is a way to do away with traditional Medicaid that we've always relied on. Right. These per capita caps now allow the federal government to pass the cost to the state. Virginia has 12,000 people waiting for waiver services that are funded through Medicaid. Mm -hmm. And this new legislation would put caps on that care so to get a waiver would be would be nearly impossible. Community-based care sure. is always funded at the end. So it, it, it's not a good thing for Virginia families who have people with developmental disabilities. And even as it stands, you have 400,000 mm. plus Virginians in the Medicaid gap, even with the way Obamacare rolled out in our state. So it would increase Correct. that number plus the 12,000 waiting on the list. It, it, it's complicated. Yes. But the 12,000 yeah. waiting on the list are Medicaid eligible, right. they're waiving their right to mm -hmm. institutional care right. to get Medicaid funding so they can live in the community. So, and this is yeah. why you need to attend this conference because exactly. right. it's more than we can tackle in a two minute and 30 second interview. So right. here's the address, yes. here are the dates, August 7th through the 9th at the main 100 East Main Street, Norfolk. And of course the website is there in case you need to visit that as well. We're going to have a link to all of this on 13newsnow.com and good luck to you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You I appreciate so much. it. Job you have. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back.